good, bad, like, dislike, great, beautiful, awesome are just some of the words we use very commonly in our day-to-day -day lives. Hello everyone, welcome back to the English Web. Uh, in one of my earlier videos, I had spoken about how we must become more creative with our language, not just to, uh, you know, to add fancy words, but also to add, uh, to explain things in a more descriptive manner. So what I've done today is I have come up with three words and I have come up with five words for each of the three words and you can uh, replace this word with these words and the same goes with the other two words. So starting with intelligent, now what do you mean by the word intelligent? It's an adjective and it means, uh, you know, some it, you use that for someone who is very sharp-witted or, you know, someone who uses his or her brain very, very um, often, you know. So instead of intelligent, you can probably use a word like ingenious or brainy. Now brainy is derived from the uh, noun that is brain and it means the same as intelligent. The other words are insightful, astute and discerning. Please understand that all these five words mean the same as intelligent and please try and use these words the next time you want to describe someone as uh, someone as being intelligent. The second word is calm. Now calm is used for someone um, or something that is very very quiet and peaceful. So instead of using the word calm you can probably use something like tranquil, serene, pacific, poised or undisturbed. The reason why I have taken these five words are because they are very very uh, you know uncommon and not used very often and they mean the same as calm. So please use one of these words the next time you want to refer to something that is calm. The last word is lazy. Now uh, you know we often use this word to you know uh, for someone who does not want to do uh, anything or does not want to work. So instead of using this word you can probably use something like sluggish or lackadaisical. This girl has a lackadaisical attitude. It means that the girl is very lazy, is low on energy, does not like to do a lot of things. So the third word is lethargic. The fourth one is lax and torpid. Sluggish, lackadaisical, lethargic, lax and uh, torpid mean the same as lazy. And uh, so yeah, uh, these are uh, some of the words that you can use, uh, like I said, instead of intelligent, calm and lazy. And now I'll move on to today's word, which is serenade. Now you must have uh, heard, uh, you know, the word serenade in a, you know, maybe while reading a book, you know, when uh, the, a boy is trying to woo a girl. So se the word serenade means uh, to entertain someone. So if I have to use this word in a sentence, I could probably say something like, uh, the hero tried to serenade uh, his girlfriend uh, with his uh, humor. So it all it means it boils down to entertaining someone. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, enjoyed this video. And if you all did, please do not forget to like, give this video a big thumbs up, do comment below, share, and subscribe to my channel. I shall see you guys very soon. Thank you.